What's up guys, Nerd Out Desk here, and today we're going to be doing a review of the Dell Mini 9. Alright, so the Dell Mini 9 was probably one of the first netbooks to be released on the netbook craze that happened a couple years ago. I believe this was released in about 2008-2009 time period era. But the reason why I bought this is because uh, it's still very relevant in today's netbook market because if you don't know netbooks all have the same processor type as well as the same graphics card and the same amount of RAM one gigabyte but what makes this one different is that it's actually a subcompact um, netbook it's actually smaller than your average netbook so here I have a DVD in a case and to compare that that's how big this netbook is uh, probably something a little bit more relevant here. Um, let's see, here's a mouse, your average computer mouse. As you can see, it's a very small netbook. Uh, I would have to say that here's your business card. I would have to say that this is a very small netbook, and that's the reason why I bought it is because it's ultra portable. Now, this thing that makes it different than other ones, since it's so small it does lack in hard drive space. It is. It has a 16 gigabyte SSD which is a solid state drive. Now why I thought that was cool is because I only need it for the internet strictly and I don't need to store anything on it so the 16 gigabyte SSD was perfect for me because solid state disks offer more speed so this will actually be faster than your average netbook. As well as I removed the stock Windows XP and replaced Ubuntu with it uh, which is a Linux distribution. And uh, let's just do a quick hardware review here. Uh, this comes with a 9 inch screen, that's why it's called the Dell Mini 9. As you can see here, uh, we have a lock, power, two USB ports, and then we have SD card slash um, memory stick. On the front, nothing happening except for some power lights and uh, battery lights. And then we have uh, headphone, microphone, USB, a little fan. Uh, VGA out and Ethernet. Nothing on the back. Uh, now the battery, uh, brand new on this thing, lasts um, about three hours. Though uh, since I got this thing used, it lasts about two hours. Um, you can upgrade and buy another battery. I think they last like nine hours. This is a very low power system. Uh, right, like I said, right now we have Ubuntu on the system. Uh, so let me just type in my password. We're gonna have to edit that out. All right, so I have my password entered in. Uh, here, right here, we have an example. I'm going to, uh, we have YouTube pulled up here. Let me get a better angle. This is Ubuntu 11.4. Now, Ubuntu runs insanely fast, and I think it is one of the best operating systems you can put on this netbook. Now, this netbook is unique because it does support Mac OS X, but uh, I decided not to install this because I like the way Ubuntu runs on this thing. So, uh, if you're wondering how YouTube videos run, I'm just going to show one of my videos here. It runs, uh... What's up, guys? Uh, yeah, that's how that goes. Runs great Facebook, all your websites. Uh, has built-in, some models have built-in web camera. This one does, but unfortunately it is broken which is uh, what to expect from Dell quality. Uh, also, I would like to note that the screen is a glossy type screen, which some people like that, some people don't like that. I'd also like to note that this is also a fingerprint magnet, as you can see. Also on the back here, uh, you have your XP license, which is unfortunately mine is sweated off. But uh, you can change the RAM, change the hard drive, change the Wi-Fi card. It has much expandability. It's a very great hacker netbook, and if you're looking to pick something up for cheap, this cost me about 150. Looking for a cheap netbook that kicks ass? This is what you're looking for. I'll see you later, guys.